Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion, one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in jumbles below and I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like. And this week was actually brought to you as suggested by Joshua Bauer, Mystic Ways, TPC Bonehound, Cam Cap, Ant3, Derp Pool, Vital Bra, MC, and is made by King Ferris 10 and it's called... P, uh, king kits and it is a basically a king or like a kit pvp plugin you can turn your server into a whole kit pvp business where they get money for killing people they lose money for getting killed and then they can spend money on kits it has a whole built-in in-game creation it actually has a really cool like in-game configuration modification which is really neat it does signs um you have an economy for cost for kit, money for per kill, lose money for kill, you get kill streaks, announcements, different kinds of special abilities if you set it up to be like that, which is really cool. So some of the requirements of this is you need to have vault in order to do that economy stuff, which you probably will because every plugin requires vault. And then if you're using uh, Essentials Kit plugins, you have to disable um, the sign, and uh, you'll see that on the screen, how to disable the kit signs for Essentials. Otherwise, they'll conf conflict. The other option you have is you can change what the sign needs. Uh, at, by default, it is you just put a bracket kit and then a bracket and then the name of the kit on the second line, and then that is what it'll go look for but you can set that to be whatever you want in the configuration which we'll go over here in a little bit otherwise you can do k list which will list all the kits or k refill which will refill all of your bowls and stuff that you have so before we get into how to create kits and all that stuff let's talk about permissions some of the permissions real basic kingkits.command.kit allows the players to do pvp kit which will then be how they select kits and all that stuff they can also use list uh preview kit which when they right click on the kit it'll allow them to preview it kingkits.command.refill will let them immediately refill a bowl or if you do refill.all all the bowls um kingkits.sign.kit.use in order to be able to use the sign kits and then you got kingkits.compass so the compass will point to the closest enemy or player there and then kingkits kits.quick soup so they will eat their soup instantaneous you'll see that here in a little bit and then you have king kits.kit.limit.pound so that limits the amount of kits that they can create you can actually create a personal kit which is really cool I'm not sure what kind of functionality that would be but i don't really run a kit pvp plugin or server so i'm sure that's helpful and then whatever kit that you set up you need to give your permission node king kits dot kit dot kit name so we're going to set up a tutorial kit here you need to give your players king kits dot kits dot tutorial so that they can access that kit and use it so the commands that we have here let's go back into first person mode uh we're going to do pvp kit is going to open up the uh menu if you do uh king kits it's just going to tell you the version number which is very helpful in uh tracking stuff down you have king kits reload you have uh king kits config king kits kill streak so the shortcut is just kk so you can do kill streak to check your own kill streak set up the associated permission node for that if you want your users to be able to do that score you they can check on their own score if you're an admin you can do that uh, kill streak, and then you can put a different username in there and check on theirs, which is really cool. And then, um, so we're going to do PVP kit, and then you can select the kit in here. If you right click, it's going to have you preview the kit, which is really cool. And then you can select it or you can exit it to go back, which it's going to give you a potion in there. Um, all this other kind of stuff, which we're not going to select that. We're going to go right into creating our own kit. So we're going to go create kit tutorial. Now, everything that is on you is now in the kit. So if we do CI and then PVP kit, we can see that we have the tutorial one, which is really cool. And we'll go ahead and select that and it sees that we get all the items plus the enchantment that we had. So enchantments are preserved through this plugin, which is really cool. And then we could do the re slash refill. If I'm eating it, that's the instantaneous eating that you see there. There's no delay in all that. So um, let's go ahead and, and clear our kits. I want to show one last thing here and I forgot to show you there. And uh, let's go... 
uh, delete kit tutorial and then we're gonna go PVP kit uh, tutorial name and then you can set the item uh, that shows up in the GUI here so we're gonna just do stone just because and now uh, player is not oh sorry wrong command create kit tutorial and then the block ID and now we can see that if we do PVP kit now that kit is a stone and that is what is shown there which is really cool so the personal kits are kind of interesting i'm not sure what the use would be but we just got some random items in here we're going to do create u kit so you have to give the permission so they can do this and then we're just gonna call it test so now when they do pvp kit they get an option to look at global kits or personal user kits and they can fill that in and get whatever items that they set up for that and that's pretty much all that is in game actually before we jump over the config you can make the modifications of the config in the game. It's not the easiest thing, but it is a really cool idea. So if you do KK config or King Kits config, if you spell it right, you will get a um, book with the configuration in it. So you can go through here and then you can change this items. So maybe we're gonna change the um, this to seven now if you want to change this on multiple lines you need to delete the all the previous lines it doesn't let you just go around and edit these which is kind of a bummer that's why i say that this might not be the best thing to do but you uh, make the changes that you want to whatever spot in the config file which we'll see in a moment and then you sign it and just call it config or whatever you want sign and close and now you have your signed book and you just do kk config again and now it has saved those items to your configuration. We go KK config. And now uh, when we look in here, you can see that that per that change is there. And you'll see that here in the configuration here in a moment. All right, so here we are in our server. We are running 1.9 on the latest version. I did have to re-update my 1.9 in order for this to work. The author is actively updating the plugin, which is really neat. Um, so be sure to update that. Check my tutorial on how to update your 1.9 and you're going to go into your plugins folder you're going to drop king kits in there and now you can see we have vault there as well it's uh not outdated but it's an older version and we're going to go into king, king kits i love when they when authors put this messages.yml file in there so you can really modify color code stuff for your server or your language which is awesome we're going to open the config file here now here's where you can set up your database information. That's always good. You can disable the op bypass in here. Now he's done a great job commenting every line of this configuration. So you really just need to read it. You can deny block modification in here by setting this to false, which is really cool. So if you want your server to be full kit PVP, all they can do is fight. Probably want to set that to false. You can also do the same thing. You can disable death messages in here, which is awesome. Here's where you can enable your economy, and you can see that uh, the money per kill change is in the setting that we changed in game, which is just a really cool idea. Not the easiest to modify, but it's a really cool idea. You have to set this to true in order for the economy stuff to work. Default kits, um, all that stuff. You can put a command alias for the kit, which is really cool. So when you set a kit up, instead of doing PVP kit space the kit name, they just do slash kit name in order to get that kit to go in there, which is really cool. Default value of commands of a new kit. So maybe you want them to get some sort of special enchantment token or something like that. They can drop the command when they get that kit. So if you want them to get money for the kit, which is really cool. So you can really kind of modify this and make it kind of like a daily uh, donor kit. And then they get uh, money for that, which is really neat. You do a global cooldown, global cost, global kill streak command. So after they get 5, 10, 15 kills, a certain stuff happens on the back end. All that stuff, walk speed, you can change that, uh, you know, all that stuff. You can change the size of the kit GUI, uh, all the GUI items, next button, you can change whatever button that is um, or what item that is. Uh, show on respawn. So when they respawn, it automatically opens up their kit GUI. You can set that to true. Show on join, you can set that to true, which is really cool. So as soon as they join the server, boom, they have to select the kit and then they get right into all that stuff, which is really cool. Uh, you can change the score, how that shows up. Um, you can put on auto spawning. You can remove kit on death. It's 
super complicated, well, not complicated, but super simple, but a lot of stuff that you can really kind of tweak to your own server. I love it. The author's done a great job of making this super simple. Here's where you can change the name of the kit. So maybe you want it, or the, the sign. So if you want to change this to be something else so it doesn't conflict, conflict with essentials or another plugin that you're running you change that in here and uh, you could disable P pvp in all worlds or in certain worlds this is, means it's enabled for all worlds so the worlds in this list is the pvp uh, worlds kit list mode gui fancy text probably just leave it gui that's just really cool i love it when that happens one kit per life you can have it so they can't get multiple kits per life and then you can disable certain commands in here. Real cool. You, the authors allowed you to modify a lot of stuff about this plugin. Now here's where you kind of get into really uh, tweaking each kit to be whatever you need it to be. Um, you can set up your description in here. This is where you set the command alias. Actually, let's open up the default kit because he has uh, descriptors in here or comments is what they're called. So this is where he talks about what the command alias is. Description, you can see that it's just next lines you can put a cost in here you can put a cooldown in seconds in here max health um so if you want them to have more health when they have the kit they can put that in there um you can make their walk speed faster you can do breakable items this is the broadcast so when they pick that kit that's what sh uh, gets sent out you have a whole list of variables here so you can do player is the player name name is like their nickname or the name of the kit cost cooldown and max health all that stuff so we got broadcast player is on a rampage all that stuff so you can even give them money if they get on a kill streak it runs eco player give whatever in there or eco give player amount that's what that's what the command would be if you're using essentials GUI position all that stuff pretty self-explanatory um, different all the slots in here for that all the armor um, potion effects you could change all of that stuff you can make that to be you could create your own kit in the game and then go into the configuration file and just make it even better which is really cool i love that this this plugin has everything that you need you can you could do enchanted items really simply you can even have it run other commands really simply so they get other token enchantments or money or whatever it is super cool let's jump back up over to the game and wrap it all up Okay, so like I said, this is probably one of my favorite uh, kit plugins I've seen out there. It's the most comprehensive, allowing you to do in-game commands or commands for other plugins as well, so it really can tie in with anything that you have. You can also do enchanted items really simply. All that stuff, really cool. I hope that you found this video helpful and uh, this really helps you get started. Really, it's up to you guys after this to really make it, the, the tools are there that you guys can really make an awesome kit PVP server. So shout out to King Ferris for making a great plugin. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.